Hi, and welcome back to To Read or Not To Read, or more accurately today, To Bake or Not To Bake. That's right. Today, I've got several cookbooks with all the different baking options you want for this fall and the coming holiday season. First up is going to be the Four and Twenty Blackbirds Pie Book. This is from a famous Brooklyn pie shop, and I'm including it because if you are an amateur pie baker or even an experienced pie baker who wants to kind of revisit tools and techniques, this has a really great front section that's very in-depth on the art of pie making. One thing to know about this is that this does, almost all the recipes in this book trend more towards sweet pies rather than savory pies, but there are a few savory recipes in here and a couple that you might want to know for the holiday season or honestly anytime. They have a recipe for salted caramel apple pie and there's another that's a brown butter pumpkin pie recipe. So if you're looking for a new twist on an old classic for your holiday table, you might want to take a look at this cookbook. Next up is Brave Tart by Stella Parks. I think this is a great recommendation if you are looking for different treats for different occasions and you're unsure of what you're kind of taste for. This book covers all of the iconic American desserts that you know from the grocery store and from your grandmother's kitchen. Uh, of note, there's a few really interesting recipes in here of how to make homemade pop tarts, how to make homemade versions of McDonald's apple pie, um, let's see what else do I have. Thin mints, even a recipe of how to make Twinkies. Uh, so I think if you're looking for multiple different types of recipes for all kinds of occasions or just you're just in the mood to bake, I think this is one that you might want to take a look at. Next up is the cookbook based off of the very well-known baking blog, Sally's Baking Addiction. This is by Sally McKinney and I like this particular cookbook because it covers a wide variety of baking recipes. So if you're looking for cakes, cookies, cupcakes, pies, candy, all different types of treats, this is a really good cookbook to look at. And if you've, if you've baked any recipes from her blog and you've had good luck, this might be a great choice to check out for the holiday season. Uh, just to note, I think it's interesting also, there are quite a few recipes in here for like your Chex Mixes, your Monster Munches, things that make great giveaway gifts for the holidays if you're looking to do that. Also, I think a few of her recipes would work really well for maybe for potlucks. So keep that in mind if you're interested in, doing, in checking out Sally's Baking Addiction. And last up today, even though I have featured a lot of different cookbooks featuring sweet treats like pies and cakes and cookies, I wanted to include something all savory, all the time, cozy, baking, you can't get any better than casseroles. And this is Bake Until Bubbly, and it bills itself as the ultimate casserole cookbook. This is by Clifford Wright. And it is quite thick with lots of different options for casseroles for the cold weather coming in. Um, I think what's interesting about this one is it covers a lot of different varieties. So there's plenty of casseroles based with potatoes, with rice, um, with pastas. So if you're looking for some new ideas for warm and cozy casseroles for this coming winter, look no further than this particular cookbook. And with that, I hope we have added some new titles and ideas for your kitchen for some cozy meals for this fall. Till next time, happy reading, happy cooking and baking, and we'll see you back on To Read or Not To Read.